<laughs> in data, we are using Sakai as, of course, as a learning support system. It's our only learning support system right now. And all, all the subjects, all the courses are automatically created every year. All the students enroll automatically to their courses and so. And we are using it uh, as an intranet, trying to substitute all, all the intranets we had beforehand. So we have only one point where everybody finds everything he needs from the intranet, from super services, courses, everything. It's, it, it's our core network, it's our core. Yeah, we, we got involved in Sakai because uh, two and a half years ago we, we started using this work. We knew from, from people from Stamp before that Sakai project was being born and, and we felt that it would be nice to, to join the project. So we started testing Sakai. We tested it uh, before the 1.0 release. We translated it into Catalan and we take a risky decision that was during that first summer, we decided to, to put it in, into production. We had uh, 1.0 pre, pre release 2 in production for one quarter, translated into Catalan, and we were waiting eagerly for 1.5. Before 1.5 appeared, we started working with Sakai's people in in not in translating it, but in internationalizing it and making it easier for people to translate Sakai. Our particular situation in data is very special. We are in Catalonia, here the university is natural language, is Catalan, but we have lots of students from South America that don't speak Catalan, they speak Spanish. And some students from the rest of Spain that don't understand Catalan, so what we'd like is to have the campus running in two languages at least, that's Catalan and, and Spanish. So the student can choose uh, which one is the, the one that he likes. And if we have it in two languages, why not having it in five languages uh, simultaneously? So an English professor can uh, state that his site will run in English, even though, provided that the student prefers the Catalan language or, or whatever. That, that's our final goal. We, we're still working on thinking of how to, this could be done without breaking a lot of the core or making things hard for, for the rest of the, of the Sakai community. First, we, we use the 1.0 and only substitute the strings for own, for own strings. Okay, right. Uh, it was... It, it was... Uh, a work that we will do for all versions at Sakai. Do then uh, it was we think that uh, we have to do something to solve this problem. Okay, and then introduce in the 1.1.5 this this modification because uh, translate a file on a unique file. Is easier that for each version of Sakai translates on literals. So you did it in Sakai 1.0 one way. Yes. But then <clears throat> in 1.5, you didn't want to do it over and over again. So you did it with the resource bundles in 1.5. Yes. And that's the code that we've kept ever since then. How many people? And how long did it take? Okay, we were four people, okay, uh, and we work around 35 hours a week okay. for, I, I don't know if it was a month or maybe, maybe more. Yeda became a pivotal contributor to the Sakai community, truly overnight. In the middle of the push to release Sakai version 2, 
The Sakai leadership published a roadmap that postponed internationalization and localization features to the next version. Yeo, who had been looking on the Sakai developer list, spoke up and volunteered to bring those features into the current version, and, after heroic effort and under significant time pressure, kept its word. Not only did Yeo implement Catalan language support in Sakai, but it added general internationalization features that stepped up international adoption adoption of Sakai significantly. They'll use the match money to continue the internationalization work that has become their hallmark. Thank you very much and congratulations. All, all Catalan universities, uh, especially led by, by the Open University in Catalonia, and funded by our, by our government, started a project one year ago to create a, a virtual campus, a common virtual campus, uh, with a few milestones. One was that it should be free and open source software. The other one was that it should be um, easily scalable. It should scale to thousands of users. Uh, that it should be designed thinking uh, user-centered design and when we started collaborating with that project uh, we felt that Sakai can fit into this project as a, as a, s a starting point of creating something over Sakai that's um, open to the community and, and something better than Sakai. Sakai is very good but we wanted to enhance it uh, and if it, Obviously, returning to the community these enhancements, and so we are committed with government to 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 this fit to to get something good built over Sakai and, and return it to the community. Yeah, Sakai is is a niche project to to get people from different universities to to work together. Sakai is is part of the core of of any university. It's, it's our campus, so. We are very committed to it, and we've learned that we can work with people from the states, even being in Jada, that's very far away, and we have different time zones and different languages, and it's very, very enriching experience to, to work with people from everywhere. And we're learning that if we work together, we can get a uh, lot of advantages. It's, it's hard for us to, to develop everything we need. It's easier to, to share what we're doing with with people from, from all the world, all the universities in the world, in the States, in Catalonia, in Japan, in whatever, have very similar needs. We, we have specific needs, but we have also some very similar needs, and it, it's a way to, to share uh, solutions to these problems, to share our de developments, to share our work, and, and be better and, and work better all together.